Hours after the rains stopped, residents of this area in Nairobi easily are still feeling the effects of that downpour. Some of them haven't stepped outside of their houses, held prisoners by the floodwaters that are yet to drain off. Movement in and outside the estate is now an undertaking that only the brave can attempt. Not too far away, businessmen are counting losses. Their premises are still holding rainwater, meaning no business for today and in some cases the destruction of their business stock. <laughs> The rain's impact was not just limited to the damage to the houses and shops. Roads too were and are still impassable. Ideally, the rains should not pose a problem of this magnitude. But the problem here remains just one, drainage or lack of it. The county government insists that it has been clearing storm drainages in the city in preparation for the rainy season, but the magnitude of the rains yesterday caught them by surprise. However, the problem goes beyond manual clearance of the drainages. Uh, we've not invested in uh, uh, the drainage system in, in, in a very long time. Uh, in CBD, I think what we have is colonial. Uh, we need to invest and upgrade our drainage system to also be in tandem with the development. The county government now says it is in the process of planning for the entire overhaul of the current drainage system with the intention of replacing it with a new, modern and more effective one. If this is the result of just one night of heavy downpours, then the residents of this estate dread to think what could happen if this rainfall sustained for the next two or three or even one week. Brenda Wanga, NTV in Isili, Nairobi.